Hello everyone. In this video series I'll explain how to create your own scripts. To start writing a script, click the script icon in the upper right to bring up the script editing interface. The script editing interface is drag and drop based. The script that you are editing is shown in the field on the left and the commands that are available to you are listed on the right. To add commands to this script, just drag and drop them into the field with your mouse. To change the order of these commands, just drag and drop them. And to remove a command, just drag it out of the field and it's gone. If you ever need instructions as to what a certain command does, just turn on the hint system with this toggle in the lower left. And when you now mouse over any command, a pop-up will explain what the command does. So, let's briefly go over the commands. The commands are listed into a total of four groups. In the left column we have the main commands. Examples are an instruction to perform an EV run or a command to draw a graph. In the top right we have data retrieval commands. Those will allow you to get data from your tree after it has been computed. So for example, you will be able to use these commands to retrieve the EV of a decision. Here we have the variable instructions. Those will allow you to set and manipulate values for variables. And finally, we have script checkpoints, which you can use to indicate locations in your tree. Now, in this video series, I'll be discussing some examples, and in that matter, I should go over all the available commands. For the rest of this video, I'll just show some really simple scripts, and we'll use the next videos for the more advanced stuff. So, let's begin with our first example. Let's write a script that does nothing else than perform an run. For that, let's first clear our script by dragging the commands out of the field. Alternatively, you can also click on New Script. And now that the field is empty, drag the EV Run command into it. And that's it. Let's leave the menu. I don't think I'll save this. Oké, okay, so here we have some random tree. To run scripts, you'll need to have the script window open. To do so, double click the script icon in the lower right. And there's our window with our script in it. And now I press F4 or this button. And that's it. We have just successfully run our first script. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try a command that sets a random flop. First we'll go to the script field again. Let's clear the field. And let's drag the random board command into it. This command will give you a random flop, turn or river. Now you'll notice that this command has an input field and it's currently lighted up in red. The fact that it's red means that it's still missing input. Let's turn on the hint system and see what it wants. Ah, it needs to know whether to draw a random flop, turn or river. Zero means flop, one means turn and two means river. Let's select flop for that, which is indicated with the value zero. Let's double click the input field to edit it. And we'll enter zero. Oké, okay, let's give that a try. Close editor. And let's run the script. And that's it. Every time I click this button or press F4, a random flop is drawn. It's also possible to make a script that contains multiple lines. Let's edit our script again. And let's let it draw a random flop, then a random turn, and then a random river. So I'll set modes to 1 and 2. And let's try that again. And now when I press F4 or this button, the script performs line 1, then line 2 and then line 3. Now, usually when a script is executed, it will start at line 1, then line 2, then line 3 and so on. However, in some cases you'll want it to go to another line than the next one. For that, we have the go to command. To demonstrate, I'll drag a go to instruction into the last line of the script. And I'll just remove these two lines. And it again needs input, namely it needs to know which line to go to. I think I'll make it go to line 1. And let's try that. Oké, okay. the script is now performing an infinite loop. It starts at line 1, where it draws a random flop. And then in line 2, it's told to go back to line 1. 
To tell it to stop, press either F4 or the brake button. OK, I think that should be enough for a general overview. If you have a script that you want to use at some later point, there's an option to save your scripts. To do so, press Save Script. And I'll just give that a name. And now our saved script will appear within this window. To load it at a later point, just double click it, and to delete it from the list, right click it. If you want to make a backup of your scripts, or share them with someone else, you'll find all of your scripts in the script subdirectory, which is in the software's main directory. When you mouse over a saved script, you'll also get a pop-up with a description. Currently the description is empty. Let's add one. For that click here. And let's save. And when you now mouse over the name, the description will be shown in the pop-up. You can also access your saved script from the other script window. Let's close the editor. For that, press load script. And that will also bring up the available scripts. Oké, okay, that should be enough for this introductory video. In the next video, I'll explain how to make your own graph algorithm.